That's crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was like kind of like a shoving, like, what are you doing, man? Stop doing. I don't know what guys do. <laughs> hey, chopsticks on the menu today is mussels. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR. So if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my delicious mussels right in front of me. As you can tell by the title, today we are doing another story time! Yay! Story time, story time! Who's ready for the story time? Because I am. Go grab yourself a cup of tea, because we're about to spill it, everyone. But before we get to the story time, I am so, so, so hungry! Let's eat, y'all. Mmm. Which one should we go for first? Let's do, how about this one right here? This one looks like a good one. Oh yeah. Gotta remove the muscle from the shell. And of course, give you guys a bite first. Got it, got it, open wide. Slay. Mmm, mmm. 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 It makes me shiver just how good it is. Like, I'm getting goosebumps, I think. Mmm. I have some lemon right here. Fresh lemon. Mmm. That I'm just gonna squeeze on. Oop. It's like literally getting everywhere. Like, my mic is right here, so I don't want to get that wet with lemon juice, because that would be a very bad situation. Mmm. Oh my god. Muscles are divine. Okay. And right here, this is my um, Cajun butter garlic sauce. I can't really show you guys right now because like it's very um, filled to the top and if I move it just slightly, it'll spill over. But when I um, use more of it, then I'll do a little close up for you all. Mmm. Let's try some with the Cajun butter garlic. Okay. Open wide. Got it. There's some garlic on there, I think. Yeah, there's some garlic. Mmm. Slay. Mmm. 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 Lemon, mussels, Cajun, butter, and garlic to die for. Seriously? You don't need like fancy truffles or frog wah. You just need the basics in life. That's my motto at least. Mm. Okay. Oh, I can't decide. I'm just gonna work my way up. Like from the bottom up. I think that's a good idea. If you're wondering how much this cost, there are 24 mussels on my plate. They're frozen because unfortunately I live in a landlocked, landlocked city and fresh seafood is very, very hard to come by. Um, so because I live in a landlocked city, the price is slightly higher. For 24 mussels, 24 frozen mussels, I paid $15 Canadian, which is roughly $12 US, if you're interested. Mm. And knowing. Mm. Mm. Maybe I can move the sauce a little bit. Oops, sorry. Oh no, it goes out of frame. Just kidding. That's as close as I can get it. Mm. Ooh. This one's a huge one. Check that out, you guys. I swear seafood is like my favorite thing ever. Well, it is my favorite thing ever because sushi is my favorite food. I like sushi is seafood, so. Mm. 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 Muscles make me so happy. Mm. Well, like these kind of muscles too, but since I don't have these kind of muscles, I just gotta be okay with having these ones for now. 
Today's story time is called Fight, Fight, Fight! That's the story time today. Fight, fight, fight. But before we get to the story time, I want to do the question of the day. Today's question of the day is, have you ever seen a fight before? Have you ever seen a fight in real life before? If so, were you scared? Were you scared of the fight you witnessed in real life? Let me know in the comments down below because I would love to read all your responses. So like always, my questions of the day are tied into my story time. And I just want to do a little quick warning about this story time. It's not like the most exciting thing ever, but, but for me, because I've never witnessed or been in this situation before in my entire 25 years of existence, it was mind blowing. So I want to share it with you guys because I care about you and hopefully you care about me too. Ooh, this one's so orange. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, you're stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn muscle. Mm. Mm. So how this story time starts off is me in a sports arena having dinner. I'm having dinner, I think it was like a steak dinner or something, but I was having dinner alone in a sports arena and where I was sitting, it was kind of like a bar area, but in front of me it was glass and I was watching the hockey game below me, okay? So I was by myself sitting behind glass watching a hockey game because uh, through that glass that's where the actual arena is where people actually bought tickets and since I'm cheap AF I decided not to buy a ticket and just watch the game from behind the glass which is technically not the arena but for some reason you can still watch the hockey game. It's like a free hockey game basically in a nutshell or in a seashell. Mm. And it wasn't like the NHL or anything. I think it was just like two universities or colleges playing. Hmm. So usually at sporting events, there are two teams usually, right? So the bleachers are divided in half. One side is like the home side and the other side is like the visitor side. And usually the fans sit with other fans that are cheering for the same team. And usually since it's like, um, since it's like, it's hard to explain, but basically the families know each other because like maybe their sons or daughters have been playing hockey or this sport for so many years. So they've seen each other a million times. So they sit together. Anyhow, my point is that the bleachers are divided into two camps. And where I was sitting, again, I'm not in the bleacher. I'm not even in the arena. I'm outside the arena looking into the hockey game from above. Where I was sitting, I was sitting, let's just say I was sitting on team... Apple side, okay? I was on Team Apple side of the bleachers. Now, I think like the glass is like soundproof, for, sorry, soundproof or something. I tried to chew and pronounce the word at the exact same time. Not a good idea. <laughs> So I think the um, glass is soundproof. I couldn't really hear like anything that well, like the conversations going on inside the arena. Hmm. 
but I didn't really need to hear anything because what I saw was a guy walking to Team Apple's side. Let's just say like they're Team Orange, okay? So a guy from Team Orange is walking to Apple's side and he does like, he's like yelling, obviously. He's saying something really loud because like he has this hand gesture like, go, go, go or something. I don't know what he's saying exactly, but basically he would walk over to Team Apple's side where I was sitting. He would shout something and then he would walk back. And this happened every six or seven minutes for like a good three or four times, right? So I'm just like really confused at this point because like I don't know what that guy is saying, what his deal was, why is he walking over to like the other team side? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hmm. And I'm not the only one, okay? I'm not the only one who didn't get what he was doing because everyone in the bleachers were turning around and looking at him like he was crazy. They're just giving him very strange looks and I was doing the exact same thing, like what's your deal? What are you trying to accomplish here? Mm. And the look, or the looks on people's faces, it was not a pleasant look. People were kind of irritated, frustrated with whether, whatever he was saying. What I think was happening, I think he was taunting the other team. Like he's from Team Orange, okay? So he's probably going over to Team Apple's side and being like, Apple sucks, Orange owns Apple, you guys are losers, something like that. And everyone was just like in shock because like, why would someone do that? Like just like, I understand cheering for your own team. What I don't condone, condemn, condone, what, what I condemn is putting down another team. You can be like, go orange, just don't say apple sucks. Hmm. Because it's all about sportsmanship, right? That's the most important thing in sports. Mm. This guy walks over again for the fifth time, I think. And this time, someone, a guy from Team Apple gets out of his seat. He walks up the stairs and meets this guy just yelling at their team. And guess what he does? At first, he kind of like yells at him back. They're having like a bicker, an argument. And finally, things get physical. They get physical real fast. At first, it was like kind of like a shoving, like, what are you doing, man? Stop doing, I don't know what guys do. <laughs> Something like that. They're just like pushing each other. And then things got really serious. Like, shits hits the fan real quick. Sorry, I'm trying not to swear in my videos because I don't want to be demonetized by YouTube. But, um, shit hit the fan real quick. I forgot who through the first punch, but basically someone punched someone. Oh my God. Oh my God. Someone actually punched someone in real life. That's crazy. Oh my God. Like the only time I see someone punching someone else is like on TV, in the movies. I have never actually witnessed someone, a human being, punching another human being in real life before. Like it just blew my mind. And they got into like a little scuffle and stuff before security came. But throughout the entire time, I was literally right in front of them. Like if I was sitting here, they were right here fighting in front of me, like throwing punches. And the entire time, I'm not gonna lie, their little fight was like, I'm not con like, I'm not promoting violence or anything, but 
I don't want to lie at the same time, their little fight was more entertaining than the hockey game. Like I was having a first row seat. I was just cutting my steak and putting it in my mouth as I watched these two full grown men fight. That's my little rant there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. And like I see it on the news all the time that people fight. I just have never seen it in real life before. Mm. I got a front row seat. Like, do you see where this plate is? The plate of muscles? I was probably like this far away, like not even arm's length away because like glass is really thin. So the entire time I was just like watching them like argue and then fight. I still can't get over it. <laughs> Maybe I live a very sheltered life. I don't know. Maybe I don't like live on the wrong side of the tracks. Just kidding, who actually uses that expression anymore? <laughs> hmm. Now, here's my take of the whole situation. First of all, like I said earlier, sorry, there's some like shell stuck to like the muscle. That's strange. There we go. First of all, I do not promote violence. I definitely do not think you should like touch each other, like shove each other, punch each other. That's just like bad, bad form. Also, this is like a university, like university college hockey game. Like people are here to have a good time. People are here to relax, have fun with their friends on a Friday night. Why do you have to like take things down a notch, you know what I mean? And these men... Guess how old they were. They were in their, I don't know, late 40s or 50s. So I think they were probably dads of some of the players. Mmm, so good. I'll get to my point in a second. Mm. Ooh, I can show you guys the Cajun butter garlic sauce now. Do you guys see it? I can't like tilt it anymore or else it'll spill. My point is do you really want your child seeing your behavior right now? Like, what kind of parent are you? What kind of role, mo role model are you for your child? You're fighting a stranger right now over a hockey game. <laughs> like, seriously? Like, you know, like, like children, your child, whether they're like 15, 16, 17, they're going to like mimic your behavior. Are you proud of that? Mm. Sometimes I feel like I'm Dr. Phil. Oop, there we go. Ooh. Oh, you guys can't see the butter Cajun. There you go. Open wide. Got it? Slay. Mm. You know how I would have handled the situation? Let's just say that someone randomly hit me on the street. You know what Merrick would do? Hmm. I would obviously fight back. No, I'm just kidding. I would not fight back because 
we all know it's no lie Merrick would lose any fight like I like I'm pretty sure any female on the planet can beat me up I like my hand eye coordination is that bad like you just like you don't want to test me <laughs> mm. What I would do instead is I would file a lawsuit. That's the type of guy I am. I would not fight you back. I would just sue you for money. <laughs> What's fighting you back accomplish anything? What What is fighting you back gonna accomplish anything? Giving you a black eye, breaking some ribs, that's not gonna give me anything. <laughs> Like satisfaction, maybe. I might get satisfied from giving you a black eye, but I'm pretty sure I would be a lot more satisfied getting 20K from you and buying a new car or like going on a trip. Just saying, just saying. That's how my brain works. <laughs> I don't know if anyone thinks the exact same way as me or not. Mm. Mm. At first, I thought 24 muscles would be a lot. I didn't think I could finish it all, but right now, I think I can do like another whole plate of those. I should have just bought like four boxes instead of two. <laughs> that was such a satisfying meal. Mm. So delicious. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this mukbang, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. If you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Love you, Chopsticks. Hold on, I had to burp there. Just being real in front of the camera. <laughs> Love you so much, Chopsticks. And remember to slay your day.